Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Friday, the 17th of November, 2023. Uh, a great day back. Personally, I'm happy because actually my cold is almost completely gone. I think I only had to blow my nose a few times today, which was excellent. Um, a very eventful day back because we had a new game release. We had the return of Friday Night Fights. I had a lot to talk about on my podcast. So since there's a lot to talk about, I feel like we should get right into it. So... On my podcast today, I covered a lot of topics. We talked about my day off, how I had been basically been robbed. Um, But here's the thing. As usual, the moronic idiots, the drama queen morons of the internet, hype something up to be something it's not. Last night, very quickly before I went to sleep, I posted up on Twitter and I said, hey, so I'm going to have an interesting story to tell on the podcast tomorrow because basically I got robbed today, but the thing is, Don't worry, it's not a serious thing. I'm fine, but I just want to tell you the story because it really blew my mind how this happened, okay? So I told the story today, and it's not anything serious or anything like that. It's a minor story, but it still confused the heck out of me how it went down or why it went down. The thing is, I'm not going to give you the details here. That will spoil the story. Go watch the Level 1 podcast from this morning, okay? So, of course, I tell the story, and people, oh, well, see, well, that was no big deal or whatever. I never said it was a big deal. I literally said in the original post last night, This is not a big deal, but it blows my mind that it happened. And it does. Right now, this moment, I still can't believe that it happened the way that it did. It was so weird. Um, But it's not anything serious. No one got hurt. It's nothing crazy or anything like that. It's just stupid, right? So I told the story, and my viewers are entertained, and everyone else on the internet is pissed. I don't care. Fuck, Fuck you. You're a fucking idiot. Why did so many idiots overnight read my post and say that this is going to be something crazy like I got held up at gunpoint or something no one said that at all I said it wasn't serious so people are just morons right and then of course ah well that's Phil he was trying to make clickbait I never made clickbait I wasn't even building it up it was just a a segment of the podcast when I posted up the podcast I didn't even say anything about it in the title of the podcast there's no clickbait you're just an idiot you you wanted drama and there really wasn't that much (laughs) you see Anyway, outside of that, there was some good news in regards to RoboCop, which is a playthrough that apparently a lot of people want to see me do. So good stuff today. Check out the podcast. It's a good one. Uh, Tomorrow I'll have a lot of news because actually a lot of news went down today that I want to talk about regarding both The Last of Us 2 and Twitter slash X. Kind of interesting stuff. I don't know if anything else will happen overnight, but some really interesting stuff to talk about tomorrow. Okay. So then the first stream today was the premiere of Super Mario RPG Remake. For those who don't know, this is a game... That was a third-party uh, game in the 1990s. It was made by Square Enix, um, a team that had worked on games like Final Fantasy and stuff like that. <clears throat> Only now it has more modernized graphics. It has uh, remix music by the original composer, came back and redid her own music for this game. Pretty amazing. Played it for about three hours. It's tops, man. It's great. The f- original game was great. So, of course, this game is great, too. Now, we haven't even gotten a full party of three people yet, <clears throat> but we're getting there. The game is short, by the way. It's only 15 to 18 hours if you do everything. If you actually know the game, you can beat it in like 10, but, you know, I've only played it. I played it in the 90s a bunch. I played it four and a half years ago, and I'm playing it again, so it's like I don't really remember everything. So it's definitely going to take me a bit to beat it, but it's not a super long, lengthy uh, playthrough or anything. But people came out. They engaged. They supported. They loved it. They were very excited, so I was happy for that. Tonight's late stream was the return of Friday Night Fights. That's right. Street Fighter Six just returned for the first time in many, many months and i'm very happy to report it went well i used dalsim now wait a minute you must be like wait whoa whoa, whoa. dalsim you were never good with dalsim dalsim is one of the worst characters in the game he is but he's a character i've wanted to play with for ages and people kept complaining don't play with him well guess what because i haven't played for so long he gave me an opportunity to go back and do whatever i wanted in a game i said i'm gonna do dalsim tonight i watched some pro players play last night on youtube <clears throat> now i didn't do ranked why too rusty. Haven't played the game in over a month. I gotta get back to the swing of things. But I did two hours of casual play. Actually, I did about almost two and a half hours of casual play. I ended up playing five-star platinum diamond rank players, and I was doing really well. I was winning sets. I was kicking ass. It wasn't even clean sweeps because the thing is now, in this game, most people understand at least the basics of each character and the meta of the game. They know that if you pick a top-tier character, how to do basics, and it beats low to your character so there's no more oh go to casual play and just spank everyone you fight people kind of know the gist of what to do in this game now so it went well like i would say the first hour i was learning a lot i was doing a lot of keep away 
uh, which I never used to do with Dalsim. I was doing like tricks and stuff. Instead of the tricky shit, I'm just keeping keep away. You know, basic, you know, you know, doing the solid uh, keep away tactics with the fireballs and the limbs, and then you know, doing some combos and things when they get close, keeping them away, mixing them up a bit, fooling them a bit, and getting a little bit better with the whole like counter drive impacting, which is very important with Dalsim. Using his drive impact effectively and countering an opponent's drive impact is key with Dalsim. You have to be good at it. So. It was a good night. It went really well. I mean, did I lose a lot? I mean, not a ton, but I did lose, like, pretty much every top tier. You know, if I fought a DJ, a Cammy, a Ken, I mean, I'm not going to win. Those characters right now are so overpowered compared to Dalsim. He's one of the worst in the game, and everyone knows it. And I'm not great with Dalsim yet. That's got to be somewhere where I get matchup experience, muscle memory with moves and combos. I have to get used to it. And, so for example, you know, Ken just literally walking forward and pressing two buttons. It's stuffing everything I do. And I even block and... Oh, okay, I'm going to block, and I'm going to do uh, drive reversal. It gives me drive impact. I'm like, well, then I can't I can't win, you know, if I'm not going to get my move. So it is what it is, but I did good. I mean, it was all casual play, as it should have been after me being away for so long and playing with this low-tier character until I learn him well. But I had a great time. The audience had a great time. The support was great. So everything went really well. Everyone seemed to really enjoy themselves. All right, now, here's the deal. Um, if people want Street Fighter 6 in the rotation, I can bring it back, but we got to keep that momentum going. I wanted that when I play Street Fighter 6, we get people who come out and engage in support. Not that this was just a one night thing. And then every time I play it from now on, you know, it's a slow stream and everyone's complaining, you know, no, if that's the case, I already told everyone, I have an idea what we can do when Street Fighter 6 dies out and people are getting bored with it. Uh, we can use my mini PC and we can get that hooked up working with Fightcade and I can play old school fighting games like X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, um, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, even Capcom vs. SK2, among others. Like, there's tons of retro fighting games that I'm good at, that I grew up playing, that I would love to play against other people for the first time in ages. You know, I really love those games. So, you know, we'll see. You know, if, if again, if, if Street Fighter 6 gets boring, gets died out, and people don't want it anymore, but you still want fighting games... We could do that for a while. You know, I'm aware that, like, like for example, Tekken's coming in end of January, but that's a ways off, right? So, you know, it's an idea. It's something to think about, okay? So, overall today, great podcast, great fun, great premiere of Super Mario RPG, and great like uh, Friday Night Fight stream of Dalsim and Street Fighter Six. Had tons of fun with all of it, and everyone seemed to have a great time, which I was happy about. Now, tomorrow will be a completely different kind of day. On Saturday the 18th, it's going to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer on the daytime stream. And I know some people will be like, wait, what? But you converted it from a day stream to a night stream. I did, but people started to complain and saying they wanted it more as a day stream. They can't attend the night streams. They would support it if it was a day stream. They were disappointed because I was actually doing well recently. My last stream on Wednesday night, holy crap. I was going on insane kill streaks. I was sniping like crazy, doing really well with the sniper rifle for the first time. And people were really enjoying it, and they want more, but they want it as a daytime stream again. So we're doing that tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, people will show up, engage in support like they said they wanted to now that it's a daytime stream again. Uh, tomorrow night on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, Like a Dragon Gaiden will roll on and continue. The game is fun. It's a great chill stream. Lots of opportunity for us to talk and chill because I'm, uh, you know, exploring the city of Kamarocho. Or not Kamarocho. This time it's Sotenbori. Um, and we are doing all kinds of fun open world content and stuff. So it's definitely the kind of game where we can relax and have a good time hanging out together. As opposed to a game that's like hyper importantly focused on stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah. I, uh, I think it's going to be a fun day tomorrow. Again, variety of stuff. Um, if you're wondering, like, when does everything continue? Super Mario RPG continues Monday, and so does Street Fighter. Because Sunday is my React Day with my React show, DSP versus the Internet, and the night stream on Sunday, if you can believe it, the return of Starfield. I want to finish the story. And I've heard that there's about maybe four to six hours left in the story, and the story is decently good. So I want to at least do that. So that's going to probably be a chill stream on Sunday night. And then we go back to the kind of this rotation of what we've been doing uh, Monday, Tuesday. Okay? Great. Wait, <laughs> great return. Now that I say, by the way, <clears throat> my cold's going away. Now I got a tickle in my throat. I should have kept my mouth shut. Uh, great return streams today. Great return day. Only a five day streaming week this week, but it's going to be a good one. This was a great start. Thank you all. I had a ton of fun with all of you. I hope to see you all in the morning for more. All right, everyone, have a good night. Be safe. Peace out. See you tomorrow for a news filled level one podcast and another fun day of gaming variety. Have a good night.